All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson 16. And in this lesson, we move away from the multiplying of fractions from all the previous lessons, and we go into classifying two-dimensional objects. Uh, in this lesson, we're gonna really be focusing on trapezoids because trapezoids, uh, we have to agree on what a trapezoid is. Now, why do we have to agree? I mean, if you think about a square, well, we all know, square, four equal sides, four 90 degree angles, done, square. Um, similarly, a rectangle, everybody agrees what the definition of a rectangle is. It's gotta have four 90 degree angles and the opposite sides have to be parallel, which means um, squares can also count as rectangles. They're just a super special rectangle. In the same way though, we have to agree what a trapezoid is because we've got a couple of competing definitions. So one, uh, the definition that Eureka Math is going to be using is that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral four-sided figure in which at least one pair of opposite sides is parallel. All right, now this is different from if you Google the definition of a trapezoid. Um, right here it says a trapezoid is a figure that has only one pair of parallel sides. And for a lot of adults and parents, uh, that's the definition that we think of when we think of trapezoids is a trapezoid is a four-sided figure where only one pair of parallel lines exist, okay? Uh, but that's not the only definition. We could either have exactly one, a definition of a trapezoid that has one, exactly one pair, or we could say that a trapezoid has at least one pair, okay? And either definition is fine, but we in our room have to all agree to the same definition. And we're going to agree with Eureka Math's definition, which is a quadrilateral has at least one pair of, opposite, uh, of parallel lines. Why are we doing that? Because when you look at the college level texts, uh, we prefer the inclusive definition where it, we have at least one pair of opposite uh, sides being parallel. Uh, and that's since that's where the college texts are going to have our kids going, we might as well talk about it now because we want the definition of common core is college and career ready, right? So if we want our students to be ready for college, let's start teaching them the definitions that they're going to be exposed to when they get to college. So from now on, a trapezoid is a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral that has at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel, at least one, side, uh, one pair. All right, so let's get going on this. Okay, I wanted to show you a really cool thing about trapezoids. So this guy is like a, a trapezoid maker. It's actually GeoGebra, if you know about GeoGebra. G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A. So I've created a trapezoid here. Now the thing I want you to notice is these two angles right here have a sum of 180. These two angles also have a sum of 180 degrees. Now, is that a coincidence? I don't know. Let's just kind of randomly make a brand new trapezoid. And now we can look at these two angles, still have a sum of 180, and these two still have a sum of 180. Is that a coincidence? I don't know, let's get crazy. Let's create the weirdest looking trapezoid ever. And look at that, we could barely even see the angles but the trapezoids, we could still see that the angles themselves still add up to 180 degrees. And that's the cool thing about trapezoids. Another cool thing about trapezoids is that when you have any trapezoid, and I'm going to make this the best trapezoid I can make, is that this angle here and this angle here, because you can see that these are our parallel lines, uh, these two angles, when you add them together, you get 180 degrees. And then these two angles, when you add them together, you get 180 degrees. And that's kind of a cool bonus, which means, by the way, if you add up all four angles, you get 180 degrees. So that's kind of a cool little thing uh, about trapezoids that I can show you because I know how to use GeoGebra. If you don't know GeoGebra or GeoGebra, um, man, go play with 
this, geodrebra.org. Great website. It's a great tool. You can either use the little applets that have already been created, like I did, or you can download the thing, the uh, little software, and create your own applets as well. So geogebra.org. All right, now that I've beat that to a pulp, <laughs> let's get going on this. So it says use a straight edge. I'm not going to be using a straight edge because I'm using a, a computer thingy. So uh, I'm going to do my best at drawing straight lines. And it says to draw. All right, so a trapezoid with exactly two right angles. Now, uh, so, of course, we know what a right angle is. And there's a couple of ways, you know, a variety of ways uh, that we can draw this. Um, oh, let's do a little slightly thicker ink. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'll make this be a right angle, and I'll make this be the right angle. So there's my exactly two right angles. And uh, now I'm going to draw... Now it's got to be a quadrilateral because it says it's going to be a trapezoid, which means it's got to have four sides. But if I go too far, and I'm going to make a rectangle, which is going to have four right angles. So I'm going to have to stop early, and then there we go. There is my... Uh, trapezoid with exactly two right angles and I know it's a trapezoid because it's got four sides and I can see that it's got parallel lines right here and that's my symbol for parallel lines so these little arrows say that these two lines are parallel these guys are not parallel so it has one um, set of parallel lines over here, uh, a trapezoid with no right angles. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. What can I do here? Um, let's get back into the slightly thicker pen. Oh, let's make this be the base. Oh, let's make this be the height. Now, uh, the top. Actually, the funny thing is this is called a base, and this is also called a base. Uh, so this, rect uh, this trapezoid has two bases, a big base and a small base. And then, uh, now I'm going to connect those, those vertices, boom, and boom. And it, you can see it's a trapezoid. How do we know it's a trapezoid? Well, one, it's got four sides, and it's got at least one pair of parallel lines. There's the one pair of parallel lines. Now I also satisfied the fact this added little criteria of no right angles because none of these little angles here, that one's close. This one's kind of close, uh, but none of these ang uh, uh, angles are right angles. All right, so here it says Kaplan incorrectly, and there's the key, incorrectly sorted some quadrilaterals into trapezoids and non-trapezoids, circle the shapes that are in the wrong group and say why. So we got to remember what is a trapezoid as defined by Eureka Math. It's right here. So it's got to have at least one pair of opposite sides being parallel. And so we could see this figure. It's got at least one pair. This guy and this guy are parallel. And this is a trapezoid because it's got at least one pair, the two sides going up and down. This is a trapezoid because it looks like the way I'm seeing it. These guys are parallel. Um, this guy's a little iffy. I can't quite decide if these are parallel or not. So parents and teachers, let your kids talk about it. It's perfectly fine if half of the groups see this as being parallel while the other half see that it's not. But I can definitely see that this guy is in the wrong group. No parallel um, sides. And I'm, I'm going to put a question mark here. And then let's keep looking over here. Non-trapezoids. Well, a lot of people would say this is a non-trapezoid because they're using the old definition, let's say, of a, trapezo a trapezoid having exactly one pair, not at least one pair. But in Eureka, 
because we see that these guys are parallel and these guys are parallel, we are going to call this a trapezoid. So yes, it's a rectangle, but it's also a trapezoid, and so it is in the wrong group. Uh, we can see that this uh, guy right here, this is a parallelogram. Um, by the way, this is also a parallelogram. But we can see that these two sides are parallel, and we can see that these two sides are parallel. And so it is a trapezoid. So he's in the wrong side. And then I'm going to say, well, this guy looks like a non-trapezoid because I don't see any parallel uh, sides. Uh, so he, these two guys, this guy and this guy, are definitely non-trapezoids. That's our iffy one. And then last one, this guy, I can see that these guys and these guys are parallel. And so that makes it a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. In fact, it has two pairs of par uh, uh, parallel lines. So there you go. So these are the four figures that were located in the wrong spots. And our last slide. Use a straight edge. Again, I'm not going to use a straight edge to draw an isosceles trapezoid. So what is an isosceles trapezoid? And that's basically this question down here. So an isosceles trapezoid is one where um, the, oh gee whiz, how am I going to draw this? Let's see. Uh, one where the sides going down, so if, it, if we know that an isosceles triangle has these two sides being equal, an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where this angle or side and that side, these two sides are equal, are the same length. So what I'm going to do, a nice little trick, is, oh, let's do one, two, three, four, five. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up three over one, and then over here I'm going to do up three over one, and that's going to guarantee that I create an isosceles trapezoid. So I'm going to go, let's see, up three over one, and that's where my dot is going to go. And then same thing over here, only in reverse, up three over one, and that's where my dot is going to go, and that's my vertices. And there is an isosceles trapezoid, because this side and this side are the exact same length. We know it's a trapezoid because it's got four sides, and it has at least one pair of parallel lines. All right, is this the only possible figure that could have been drawn? No way, uh, but it's definitely one possible answer. And that wraps up a fun one using classification. This is fifth grade, module five, lesson 16, where we're really getting down and dirty and focusing on what is a trapezoid and clarifying, and we're all agreeing to the attributes of a trapezoid.